How's it going guys? It's going off grid. I haven't posted in something in a long time. And just giving you an update. Everything's working good. No problems. I've not changed much. Still have all the batteries. Still have the Gym Tree Solar hooked up. I've been using this uh, mostly to run the 12,000 BTU air conditioner non-stop. Just through an extension cord. Um, been using these mostly because uh, this time of year it's getting cold and rainy and I can no longer hang my clothes out to dry as much so these have been running the dryer quite often where I can't really run the house and run the dryer on this one uh, it just it goes a little over 6,000 watts and then it overheats and eventually shuts off but still works great nothing wrong with it quite a nice uh, inverter actually Got like uh, testing the fans. I would have guessed what it's a boots up. It's interesting. But let's see. What are the hours I got on this now? Let's see here. All right here. Okay, so 1,400 hours, almost. Wow, we're getting close to a megawatt that's produced. <coughs> that's pretty cool. We're sitting at pretty much full charge, and I really like the fact that this can take. Uh, my 66 volt input, just like the Magna signs do. And let's see. So we made 0.8 or yeah, 0.8 of a kilowatt on the one point or 1.1 here and 3.6 here. And that's because it's been raining all day. It's supposed to be getting like 100 millimeters of rain in two days or something like that. It's been raining like crazy. This side is the <clears throat> a little bit more messy. You got wires all over the place. I'm gonna be cleaning that up. Same here. These are all EV batteries. These are just 35 amp BMSs. No Bluetooth. No nothing. Yeah, just giving an overview on everything here and what I've been doing. Uh, I'll give you a tour of the garage. All right. All kinds of stuff. That's a 10,000. Watch transformer. I bought a bunch of these batteries off of uh, off of batteryhookup.com. I had like eight of them or nine of them. I can't remember. Um, some of them were four hundred dollars. Some of them were two hundred dollars. Some were salvaged. Some were not salvaged. Uh, and this one, I got. I left two for me. I I rebuilt them on the inside. I checked all the cells, made sure nothing was gone wrong. I put a new BMS in it. Um, what else did I do? Uh, charged them all up. Uh, balance them, then hooked up a BMS to them. Not most of them didn't need any balancing, but some did. Um, and then sold them, and I kept two for myself. They are very nice batteries. So if these come back up, I would snatch those. They're quite nice. And this is something else I have. So these have been well, they were floating around Kijiji and and Facebook Marketplace. This is a 10,200 BTU air conditioner, and it. Runs on 12 volts. That's why I have the booster cables there. Just put any 12 volt battery that can support uh, 50 to 65 amps will be able to run this. It uh, on low it uses 50 amps, on high it uses 64 amps. It comes with a little one of these things. There you go. You got a controller and the wire and everything for it. It's all just plug and play. Literally, you plug that in, hook up power, positive, negative. And then cold comes out of those two, return goes uh, into there, and then uh, it sucks cool air just from outside or wherever uh, through there, and it blows the hot air out the bottom. So it would be this is best installed in a floor or a wall. So the wall would come through here. This would be on the outside of the unit, and this would be on the inside, or on the floor of a trailer where you can cut a hole in the bottom, and it just blows all the uh, hot air out the bottom and I bought a few of these um, that I'm actually probably gonna end up selling some I knew a few people that wanted them and now less people want them so if anybody's interested in these I'm looking for about 600 bucks anyways uh, and I live in in Ontario so if you're in Ontario uh, what else anything else nothing really uh, electric bike 
It doesn't really like the 60 volt battery I put in it. It's a 40 volt electric bike. And I think it cooked the hub motor, either the hub motor or the actual controller is dead. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else really. That's it. Just a quick update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys later.